Welcome to our tutorial about math members. In this tutorial, we're going to see some examples of common mathematical functions which are members of the math class. I'll talk in a little bit about this terminology. First, let's take a look at my code. I've got two variables here. Variable A is declared as a double. I've initialized it with a value of 1.3. Next is my second variable. It's called result, and I've also declared it as a double. Down below, I've got an ABS function. This function is part of the math class. You don't have to type math period ABS. You can skip that part. Lastly, the value for the variable result will display in the message box. The ABS function returns the absolute value of a specific number. Let's run our program by clicking OK. As you can see, the absolute value of 1.3 is 1.3. Let's enter a different number, let's say minus 1.3. And of course, we get 1.3 again. Let's copy this part of the syntax. In the left-hand panel, let's expand the math branch of the browser. This is a list of math functions that iLogic provides you. We can mouse over each for an explanation of what it does. To insert the code snippet, just place your cursor where you want the code to be inserted and then double click on the function in the browser. Let's enter variable A and run the rule. Here's our result. Let's click OK. Back to our rule. We'll comment out this line of code. And let's insert another math function. Let's say x to the power of y. And let's make x 2 and y will make equal to 4. Let's click OK to run the rule. We get our result, 16. Let's comment out this line as well. And let's try another math function, the tangent. So this function accepts your value in radians. 1 radian equals 180 over pi, or about 57 degrees. Let's run the function. And here's our result. Let's click OK. Double click on math members again to open the rule. Now let's use our function to calculate the cotangent. And here's our result. Let's click OK. This concludes our tutorial about working with math members.